Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course, pleased to be joined by Shane Lorenz of the head football coach of Bath, the Fighting Bees. How are you? I'm good. Keeping busy. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's talk about how camp's been going so far. How excited. Uh, and obviously everyone's excited for the season, but really right. how is these, uh, the, uh, how is uh Last week went, and how is uh, so far this uh, this week of practice is going? Yeah, so last week went really well. Um, we know we had things to button up on. Uh, this was kind of my – this is going into my second season, right? So the first season I got hired a little bit late, um, and we weren't able to do as much in the summer last year as we were this year. Um, so really this year I've been able to kind of put my footprint out there, get to the summer stuff a lot more get in the weight room. The kids had great participation this year. I'm sure you're going to hear that from everybody. Kids yep. are starting to enjoy getting back into sports after this whole COVID thing's over. So um, really it's about participation. Our first week of camp, we looked really good. All right. Um, all right. Let's talk about some of the guys that are, uh, that are returning for your team this year. And then some of the guys that are, you know, and also some of the guys to watch is let's start with the skill positions and we'll go from there. Yeah, so I mean, we are returning our quarterback. So last year, he only got to play about half the season. He dislocated his kneecap in our scrimmage last year. Um, so uh, he took over into that sixth or seventh game and we made playoffs last year. So he was able to get in there. Um, so we're returning him. That's Braden Bennett. Uh, he's a solid starter for us. We just need him to stay healthy. If he's healthy, we are in a good spot. Um, Bradley Allman. Uh, he was second team all conference running back. He should have been first team, in my opinion. He had 1,100 yards. He had 12 touchdowns, and he's one of the fastest kids in the area. I mean, he runs a 22 3 200. Um, so we're talking lightning quick, and we want to get him our. Uh, we want to get him the rock as much as possible. Um, and we are returning. I think we have eight seniors this year. Um, so we're returning two receivers. So Cole Chamberlain was at the helm at quarterback for us for about half the season. Again, knowing that he could lead our team and do the right things. Um, he's going to be a big piece to what we do on this offense. He can play running back. He could play receiver. He can go in and run the ball as a quarterback. He could throw the ball as a quarterback. Um, he's really kind of wherever I need him, he's capable of doing everything. So offensively, um, we do have a lot of pieces that we are replacing. We're kind of going all over the place um, with, you know, I think we have six or seven returning starters still. We're still good there, um, but we did lose our, our meat, I would say, up front. Um, so skill position wise, you know, our tight end, uh, Max Perry is one of the biggest pieces of this team. Um, and you'll hear me talk about that kind of throughout. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the offensive and defensive line. Absolutely. So our offensive line is going to be a little bit smaller. We're going to be a little bit quicker this year um, than we were last year. We kind of had to go around, okay, we're going to be able to run the ball to the right last year. <laughs> um, and we got really good at doing that. Um, and we lost Blake Van Norman. He's now going over and playing at Trine University. Um, he was the right tackle. And then our right guard, Hunter Holmberg is now playing at Kalamazoo College. Um, so we did lose both of those pieces. However, um, we returned two six three tackles, um, you know, which, although they're not 290 pounds, which I would love, but although they're not 290 pounds, they are good at what they do. Um, we have a couple of incomers that are coming in at guard that could have easily started last year. Um, and they're going to be juniors. So this year, we're only going to have one senior on the line, and we are really shaping. We're really looking good at those positions right now. Now, being Bath, we are small. Uh, so those same guys that play offensive line, play defensive line, we have about a rotation of six guys, and those six guys right now look really tough. All right. Uh, let's go to the linebackers in secondary. Absolutely. So, I mean, you can't start our defense without talking about Max Perry. I mean, the kid is, he should be all state. There's no doubt about it. Last year he had 100, 
114 tackles. Um, he was up there in the area lead, uh, five sacks, three fumbles for us. I mean, the kid is, just kind of does everything for us. Um, knack for the ball. Uh, he's been getting looks and had visits over to Grand Valley, Michigan Tech. Um, so he's going to be a solid player for us, and he is our foundation on the defense. Um, Sam Watch, we're returning all four of our linebackers. Um, so both of our middle linebackers are back. Both of the outside linebackers are back. Um, our safety is back. Our corner is back. So we got a good foundation on defense. I will say DB wise, we're going to learn who can uh, set the edge on one side, but we are comfortable with pretty much anybody throwing anybody back there. Ain't no, our depth is we're really good at our depth. And, you know, I got Ethan Wicks and Jay Chrysler and Braden. Bennett can even fill in at that linebacker position as a quarterback. I mean, everybody just wants to play football right now. Yeah. And we're looking pretty solid at every position. All right. Um, let's go to special teams. So that's uh, going to be all new to us. Uh, as far as a kicker, we lost our kicker. Our punter is returning. So Bradley Allman, our, our running back, is actually our punter. Um, he averaged about 35 yards a punt, so he's going to be great to have. But he's also our kick returner and punt returner. So Bradley Allman's our do-it-all guy. Um, throwing back Cole Chamberlain with the same thing on kick returns. He's going to help us in the kick return game. Nolan Rowley is a name I haven't mentioned yet. Uh, a starting linebacker, our starting fullback, and also could be a kick returner that gives us great speed, you know, 4-6 speed back there. So we do have a lot of that this year. We have great speed. We have great team speed. We have great strength. Um, we saw the gains going from last year to this year in the weight room. You know, maybe we had four or five kids that were benching 225 last year, and now we're really pushing upwards 10 plus. So we're getting to where we want to be. All right. Um, okay. So now we've talked about the players. Yeah. Now let's talk about the schedule. You, you've probably seen a few of these, so you know where this is going to go. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Okay, so let's talk about, I'll read through the schedule real quick. Um, uh, starting off August 24th at Chessening, of course. Uh, and then, of course, uh, August 31st, home against uh, Pawama, Westphalia. Uh, yep. September 8th, home against Lutheran Westland. September yep. 15th at Fowler. September 22nd, home against Stockbridge. September 29th, home against Langsburg. Um, October 6th at Saranac. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. Um, October 13th at Dansville and then finishing out the season October 20th home against Perry. Um, so yeah, pretty good season. I know the CMAC is always competitive. I've heard a lot about this league, but yeah. uh, what's it going to be like this year? I mean, if we're talking about CMAC in general, I mean, you're talking about perennial powerhouses. I mean, PW, there's not a match in the state besides maybe Ithaca and these smaller schools and New Lothrop, they're, you know, they're traditionally always good. PW is the same exact way. Um, Fowler is one of those teams as well. I mean, Fowler might have, if we're talking in the Lansing area, I know they're a little bit outside of it, but talking Lansing area, they might be the biggest line D1 down uh, just in the area. So, I mean, they got three, four starters, six, four, two, 50. Uh, you don't see that in D8. And so, you know, we're D7, we get to play them, and we know our schedule um, is tough. This year it was kind of planned that way, though. Our AD came to us to, and said, you know, these are the options for week one. Chessening was on there. We wanted to challenge ourselves. You know, Chessening had a season where they're kind of going in the right direction, too. They have young guys that are kind of now stepping into those leadership roles, um, and we know what we're facing. Um, we just got to go out and execute. That's our job. Yeah. Uh, really, everybody's going to go into the season and say, yeah, you know, we're pumped. We want to make the playoffs. Everybody says that week one, week two, week three. Um, but it really that grind through those first three weeks will tell you where you're at. Even if we go into the season and we started one and two, we know we can be a playoff team. Um, if we go three and oh, obviously you're in a much better spot. Um, so I'm not going to preach to my kids like, hey, a loss is the end of the season. We know week one is a tone setter, and we just got to come to play. Yeah, you really don't know really. Week three is usually 
yeah. uh, time that coaches start to figure out what they actually have uh, in the year. And obviously, injuries can change a lot of things, but oh, absolutely. Um, so let's uh, let's talk about um, let's talk about what this week's going to hold. I know the scrimmage is uh, yep. Thursday. Where are you where? And then of course, uh, tell us where you're going for the scrimmage, and also. What do you really want to see out of that? What are you going to look for? And really, what do you want to see until that first game against Chesney? Yeah, so, I mean, we are at uh, Genesee High School. So, Genesee, we have five teams at this scrimmage. So, Genesee High School, ourselves, Oscoda High School, and then we have Pigeon, Elkton Pigeon. Um, so, we'll have the Lakers there. And then also Bad Axe. So, we have two teams that are highly rated within D7 and Laker and Bad Axe, but really it's about a measurement of where we're at. I'm not looking to go out there and pound on people. I want to get people reps to see if they are going to produce for us. I know what I have in my running back. I know what I have in my tight ends. I know what I have in an offensive line. Now it's about testing these guys up against some of these guys, putting them in positions that they're uncomfortable with, um, you know, maybe changing cadences, changing different things within this preseason where I can test their knowledge of what we've gone over. So I know that a lot of teams are like, I want to get out there and pound them. Really, I want to see if people can do what I've been preaching. Okay. All right. Well, Shane, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us. And uh, I've been waiting to say this all interview. Best of luck to the fighting bees this coming Absolutely. season. Thank you. We appreciate it.